I'm gonna show you how to shoot B-roll footage for your YouTube videos to make them a lot more interesting, and we're starting right now. What is going on? My name is Nick, welcome to another video. If this is your first time here and you wanna learn how to grow your channel, make videos, and all types of other YouTube-related stuff, start now by subscribing and clicking the bell so you don't miss anything. Okay, so if you don't know what B-roll is, B-roll is basically just an industry way or a filmmaker way of saying extra footage that you can use in your videos to make things a little bit more interesting. As an example, what you are seeing on the screen right now is B-roll footage. Okay, so with that out of the way, how do you actually make B-roll footage? What I'm gonna do is I'm going to explain some conceptual things really quick and explain the best way to set your camera and all that. And then I'm gonna show you some really cool tricks that can really make your B-roll footage look pretty awesome. First, you wanna think about what it is that you want to show. As an example, if I was talking about computer accessories and I wanted to talk about the best mouse pad that you can get and things like that, then footage like you're seeing on your screen right now would make great B-roll for that. If I was talking about eating, then footage like what you're seeing right now would also be a fantastic example of B-roll. When it comes to making B-roll footage, there are some things to keep in mind. As an example, making slow motion B-roll footage is not only is it gonna make your videos look awesome, but it's also extremely popular or trendy right now on YouTube. In addition to slow motion just looking awesome, another really big advantage of using slow motion or basically taking your footage at a higher frame rate and slowing it down and using it as B-roll is because if you are hand holding your camera when you're shooting the B-roll footage, it can help smooth everything out to where it doesn't look as shaky, which is much easier on the viewer's eyes, unless of course you're trying to have shaky footage for the sake of dramatic effect. To make your slow motion B-roll look awesome, what you wanna do is you wanna shoot it at 120 frames per second or higher. And what that does is that gives you the ability to slow it down to 25% or higher, which can make for some really awesome looking slow motion. And I wanna thank Peter McKinnon and Hollywood for bringing that to all of our attention. Personally, I love the slow motion look. I think it looks just absolutely fantastic, makes everything just look all nice and dreamy and all of that. But if you're on a phone, you can install the app Film Filmic Pro, which will allow you to adjust the frame rate on your phone to where you can actually ramp the frame rate up to where you can get those cool buttery slow motion shots even if you're shooting on your phone. If you are a phone user, my brother D actually has a video, I'll put a link to it right up here at the top of the screen, but he has a video as well on shooting B-roll specifically for phone users, so make sure that you go and check that out if you are into the phone thing. Now, if you're wanting to do this on a camera, it's a totally different story. If your camera supports the higher frame rates and you can take it up to 120 frames per second, definitely do it because that gives you the ability to take it down to really low percentages, like 25% to where you can make everything just look super dreamy, which is absolutely awesome. Now, if you're doing a street scene or something like that to where you have a static shot and you're just wanting to show the movement in the static shot, in that case, it's not as big of a deal. But you know, if you're somebody that's just kind of running and gunning and you don't have a gimbal or anything like that, then shooting at that higher frame rate can really make a big difference in terms of how that end result comes out when you're finished with that final edit. Now, with all of that said about actually shooting it, I'm gonna get into the tricks right here in a second, but with all that said about actually actually shooting the footage, keep in mind, you can also use photos and graphics as B-roll as well. So if you've always got your phone with you and you wanna shoot something, you wanna take a picture of something and then use that later as your B-roll, then what can be really effective for that and bring kind of bring that photo to life is to add some pan cropping to it or some zoom cropping to it so that it makes everything look better instead of just having a static image up on the screen. Now the fun part, a few tricks to help you shoot cooler B-roll. The first one I'm gonna show you is the tripod tilt. This is gonna give you a smooth overshot instead of having something that's more static. This adds a completely different feel to the footage. What you wanna do for this is put your camera on the tripod, focus the camera on the object that it is that you're wanting to shoot, and then just tilt the tripod and it kinda of gives sort of a flyover effect on the object that you're shooting. Next up is the super tack sharp focus out of just a full complete blur trick. And this one is absolutely awesome. In full disclosure, I got this one from Daniel Schiffer. I'll put a link to him down in the description below. But this was when I saw this because I was trying to do this the other way around, which is basically to where I would just kind of move in on it and focus and I would always overshoot it and things like that. But uh, when I watched his video, it was, this guy's a genius when it comes to this in terms of uh, just really making it super clear. So I wanna share that with you right now. What you wanna do is you wanna put your camera into manual focus, then you put it on the object to focus on, and then you pull the camera away as you move it. Then when you import it into your editing software, you can reverse the clip and add a tiny speed ramp to nail the focus every single time because you're doing it all backwards. If you happen to see this, Daniel, thank you for the tip, high five, fist bump. I absolutely love it and I'm addicted to it. Next up is another way to use the tripod. Simply use the tripod head to pan across the scene. You can use this in the world or you can use it in the objects and it looks great regardless of how it is that you use it. 
Other types of B-roll are, let's say that you do a time-lapse video. Another tip that I have for you, if you're using a GoPro, you can put a GoPro on an egg timer and you can actually just crank that egg timer up and then you can get an actual motion time-lapse, which makes it even cooler. Or of course they have the little timers that you can get for that, but if you're on a super tight budget, then using the egg timer is a fantastic quick and easy trick that you can use. And of course, static shots that show other types of movement, like I talked about earlier, if you're showing like a street scene and you just have the camera set up as a static shot and then you just see everything moving along, um, or let's say that you have an airport and you just have people moving or something like that to where there's other things moving to where you don't have to move the camera itself. Shooting that stuff in higher frames per second can also make for some really cool slow motion footage, especially if you get into to speed ramping and things like that, which we'll save for another video. For getting those perfect shots, having things like gimbals or gorilla grips can also be extremely handy. I know Archon mounts make some really cool stuff. If you're into getting those overhead shots, Archon mounts make some really cool stuff. I'll put a link to them down in the description below and to all this stuff actually. And another thing to keep in mind if you're shooting B-roll footage is it's a really good idea to shoot as much B-roll as you possibly can. Shoot from different angles, shoot at different speeds, move in faster, move out faster, pan faster, pan slower, pan from different angles, experiment with panning and twisting as you go and things like that so that you can have a more dynamic experience when you're shooting it and when people are watching it. And more importantly, it gives you more stuff to work with in the edit because it is a gazillion times better to have a several minutes extra worth of footage instead of two seconds less because you didn't shoot enough. Because we love the creator community so much, my brother D and I are actually in the process of putting together a B-roll resource for content creators to where we're shooting a bunch of B-roll and we're actually loading it up. I'm gonna put a link to D's channel in the description and I'm gonna put a link to that B-roll channel in the description so that you can go ahead and subscribe right now. So as soon as we start releasing that stuff for content creators, you're gonna be able to use it for free, no copyright headaches or anything like that. So as soon as we start releasing that stuff, then you can go ahead and start downloading it and start using that B-roll in your videos as well if you don't have the equipment or the time to shoot B-roll yourself. And it's all gonna be free for creators, by creators. And if you wanna learn more about growing your channel, making videos, and all types of other YouTube related stuff, start now by hitting the round subscribe icon so you don't miss anything. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you next time.